a warm welcome back to this Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video the Ja Ring Shrine, also known as a weighty decision. The Ja Ring Shrine is located in the Farren region, just north of Lublin village on a small hill. We start this video at the Kwaka Nata Shrine. This shrine is the shrine we visited in our last video. So please, check it out if you have not found this shrine already. You can click the link in the right upper corner right now. In order to find the Ja Ring Shrine, open your map and just follow the path towards the right place here, close to the coast. And just move your butt towards the pin. Jump off, glide down. Watch out for the thunder and lightning. In other means, make sure you don't have any metal armor on, otherwise you definitely will get hit. Glide as far down as possible, towards the pin of course. By the way, if you like this video then please give this video a thumbs up. That helps with the discoverability of this video a lot. And if you have not done that yet, please subscribe to this channel so you won't miss my other upcoming guides and other upcoming awesome videos. I also stream games such as The Legend of Zelda live on Twitch. Link to my Twitch is in the description down below, so check it out. Start climbing up here. You can see the difference in rocks here. Climb up here to avoid any enemies. As you know, I'm a lover, not a fighter. And if I can avoid fighting, I definitely will. Just walk towards this point, jump off and glide towards the shrine. Now you reach Lulin village and now you reach the J Rin shrine. Cool, alright, let's go in. Who sets foot in this shrine? I am Jarin. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this crown. A weighty decision, Jarin Shrine. We're gonna need our Magnesis rune for this. So use your Magnesis rune on the big block, the big metal block, and place it on the other side. Jump off here and glide down. There's a mini guardian, you got to attack. You can attack him in different ways, for example with your bow or just head on, the way I do. Now walk back. And use your Magnesis rune to pick up the big block again. We're gonna need this big metal block through the rest of the shrine. Place it down here, on the switch, and the gate opens. As you see there's a treasure chest with a magnesis rune, it's pretty easy to just pick it up and put it down. Open it, and a knight's broadsword with a strength of 26 is inside, might be very useful. 
Now go through the gate, pick up the metal block again and just continue. Place your metal block on the first scale and release, climb up and use that metal block to position it on the other side of the scale. So you're going up. Now, jump towards the treasure chest, the second and last one, open it and an opal is inside. Jump on this scale, use the metal block again and position it on the other side again of the skill you're on. Apply towards the other side and pick up the metal block once more with your magnesis rune and position it again on the other side of this skill. And we've made it. There's the monk. As usual, go stand before the monk and press A. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Awesome, another shrine completed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully see you all next time in the next video. See ya.